I've had several requests to talk about balancing, so that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, we static balance all the propellers vertically and horizontally. The very first thing I do is kind of take a measurement and see um, what I'm working with. So this is the first balance that I'm doing. Um, I'm using little pieces of sandpaper to put on the blade to kind of check and see how far I'm off. This is a bigger prop, so I was three pieces of sandpaper off on this one. Normally it's just one or two pieces, but considering the size of this prop, it, it took a little bit more. And what this does is it tells me how much weight I need to take up off of the opposite blade. And after I determine that, then I go ahead and I determine vertical balance. And when I do this, I always put the heavy blade up first, and then I take um, an assessment of which side of my hub seems to be a little bit heavier. After that, I go ahead and I mark out all the blemishes that are in the propeller. So any saw marks, any uneven spots, any um, kind of bumps or anything that I can feel, anything that I can see, anything that's not smooth, all needs to come out. Most of the time it's just little saw blade marks that I miss. So I go ahead and mark all of that out so I can see it better when I go to sand. And as you can see, those are the spots that I marked. I have a few spots there that I need to take out. And if I have a lot of weight I need to take out, I may start with the, with the belt sander. Um, this one, I didn't feel like that was necessary, so I went ahead and went with my orbital sander. And it has 60 grit on it. And I don't, the goal is to not remove any more material than I have to. So I'm pretty timid about the material that I take off and a lot of times that'll make the process take longer, but that's just the way that I prefer to do it. So on this one, I am concentrating on my heavy blade and taking material off of it. Um, most of the time I take it off of the back, but like I said, the very first thing I do is take out all of the blemishes that I see. On this prop, I had a lot of saw marks on my trailing edge, and I had left them there because I wanted to be super careful when I took them out because I didn't want to dull my, tra my trailing edge, so that was one of the last things that I had to finish on it. And then I went ahead and used the palm sander there to kind of smooth a few places out. And like I said, I wanted to be super careful on my trailing edge. You want to keep your trailing edge sharp so that when the air comes off the airfoil side and the flat side, it comes off together. And that makes a more efficient propeller. So you can see I'm just sanding, and that's pretty much the process. You just sand until you feel like you've got the right amount off, and then you check it for balance, and then you sand it some more, and then you check for some balance some more. This process can take anywhere from one to two hours. Sometimes it takes longer if, it's, if it turns out to be a bad day. Um, but every time you get closer and closer, sometimes I overdo it. Sometimes I take off more material than I'm supposed to and I have to come back and redo that. This time I got pretty close. I was pretty happy with it. And actually these bigger props are easier to balance than those little props. With the little props, just the tiniest, tiniest bit of material can make the difference between uh, perfectly balanced and off balance. Uh, these are a little bit easier. So I got down to one piece of sandpaper, but when I did that, my vertical balance actually got a little worse. And that just happens with the places that you take the material off. 
So I went ahead and marked the spot on the propeller where I could take material off that would benefit my vertical and my horizontal balance. So I kind of think of the propeller as a uh, cutting it into like a quadrant. Um, so then I just kind of look and see which quadrant would help me in both of the ways that it's off. So for this one, this is the spot where I need to sand and you can always do more sanding right in that area where the blade meets the hub. Um, it's just a spot that needs a lot, a lot of work and it's a place where you can take quite a bit of material out of that doesn't change the airfoil and it doesn't change the shape of your hub. So then I just went ahead and I blew it off with the air hose because I knew that this was going to be one of my final balances. So I wanted to make sure even sawdust can throw you off. So I went ahead and gave it another balance. This one kind of got heavy. <laughs> it's a, it was a big prop to take on and off the stand so much, but um, it went ahead and it balanced really well horizontally. I was really happy. And you can see that even something like as tiny as a paper towel changed the balance. So it's, it's tiny, tiny little things that can make it, but I like it to set there. It has to set there perfectly still for me to be happy, vertically and horizontally. And when I went ahead and checked the vertical balance again, it was a little off. So I'll have to go back and I'll have to sand that a little bit more, but I'll keep sanding and checking and sanding and checking until it's absolutely perfect both ways. And that's how I balance.